Marjane K, you are number one, darling. Hello, my love. I'm trying to find my other phone. Did I bring it down here or did I leave it? Oh, here it is. Hand in hand. Cassie, please put my cash up on here. To a love land with you. Yes. Good morning. Capital, capital letters, please. Capital letters. No crybabies. No sensitive feelings. This, my dear, is not the page for you if you're doing all of that. Work handbag queen. There is the baby's daddy. Hi, Mark. That ain't nobody. That's just my baby. Mm -mm. I heard a cash up. Good morning, Kevin Mays. How do I look? Do I look cute? <laughs> Speak Your Man Radio. I like that name. Let me bring you in. Speak Your Man. Speak Your what y'all see? What you please? Please? Ooh, bags. It's called bags. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, my love. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? I can't complain. Don't do no good no way. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm listening to you. I'm looking at something. We talking about the virus. We talking about voting. What you what we what you got? What you got? Uh I want to talk about vibes. About who? Vibes and energy. Oh, come on with it. Okay, so I feel like there's a strong energy in the universe that's pushing people like to into their dreams to, to start something that they're supposed to know they're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Like to talk to people, to connect with people, like in a different way. Okay. Um, I feel like you, for instance, are a whole ass vibe because you really down to earth. It's something about you. Like you just come off as yourself and so sweet and genuine and you'll snap a motherfucker up if need be, you know? And I like that about you. You fire. I don't know about that sweet part. I could be one SOB. You have no idea. Especially it's okay. When it comes down, especially when it comes down to my business and my money. I'm 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 man all day. I am a beast about my business and my money. Well, I need to look up to you there more oh. often. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. So, well, where you, where, where you? What's your name? Where you calling from? I'm I'm my, my name is Miss Hip Hop. I'm calling from Chicago, Illinois. Chat Town West Side. West Side. <laughs> are you on the west? Are you on the west side or the south side? I'm on the south side, baby. What is the weather like there today? I miss home, and I ain't come back. Y'all acting a damn fool in Chicago. It's about 63 degrees, man. Today is Lord, Mayor Lori Lightfoot's birthday, right? Yeah. Yeah, I love Lori yeah. Lightfoot. I love Lori. I'm like, y'all would get a lesbian mayor after I leave the damn city. That could have been my boyfriend. Right. That could have been you. my boyfriend. She, she, she's definitely hot and fire. I love Lori Lightfoot. She dot Grimes, thank you for my cash app. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, well, thank you for joining us. So, what radio? I talked to you before. What radio station are you on? I'm on um, iHeartRadio. I'm on Spotify. I'm on uh, uh, Pandora. Um, and some other uh, platforms too, but those are the three major platforms, though. I will be on iHeart right with you in about two weeks. I'm excited about it. What's your platform about? Uh, coffee time. We're moving coffee time to iHeart. Well, can I come on the show? Can you come on my show? Possibly. In in inbox me at HeShiWe. I mean, email me at HeShiWe Bookings at Gmail. You know you got to go through my manager, though. Nobody go through me because my slow ass, I be to agree to everything and be some, I get there and there be some shit I don't want to do and then I say, I'm not doing this and we'll walk off. So you need to go through my manager because she'll explain it to me. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, okay. cool, cool. Thank you this morning that. for joining us, though. We appreciate you. Shout Town. Shout out to the shot. Thank you. Shout Town, baby. Bye, Peace. That's my hometown, y'all. I love my city. Y'all know I love Chicago. But they acting a fool in Chicago right now, and I ain't going to be able to do it. Hand in hand. Flame ain't sweet. Laughter in the rain. You already know I am sweet. I'm sweet. I just don't tolerate foolishness.
What's the troll dial? Please look at Mark. What's the troll dial? Who is troll dial? Are they on here? Okay, let me see. Mark, you're going to have to explain. Explain yourself, player. I woke up like this, Mark. I woke up like this. No, no, no. <laughs> I woke up like this. Is this how you want me to wake up in the bed next to you? Every morning. <laughs> Look, we've been getting spoiled with these looks. Hey, when, when duty calls, you know, I got to answer. Uh, hey, I hear that. Listen, so I'm going to be on a soapbox for two minutes, and I really want your opinion as a father but also is just an open-minded person who doesn't over, you don't overthink things. You see things for what they are, kind of like me. So some people might know what I'm talking about, but there's this troll doll. It's from the movie Trolls and it's been in sh on shelves and mostly religious people, but just some parents in general have now thrown this idea that Democrats and Hollywood are causing children to start sexualizing themselves at an early age and that this toy is leading to pedophilia for the simple fact that this toy is meant to be seated and on the butt of the doll there's a button and it it makes noises and sings so there's now this petition on change.org and they're trying to get this toy taken from the shelves and it's made by hasbro also dreamworks because parents are saying that it's teaching kids that it's okay for you to be for you to touch the private area and it responds and makes it seem like it's an okay thing to do. Now, how in the fuck, sorry, I'm really heated about it today. How are religious people going to come out of the woodworks with petitions and saying that Democrats are causing or starting pedophilia and all this bullshit, but yet the Catholic Church is molesting boys every day. So you don't talk about that, but you're a, upset about a doll that's a fake fictional creature that has a button on its ass and it makes noises? I don't understand. Please help me understand. Well, first of all, I'm not familiar with that, but I just said on YouTube that we're three months out, or two months, three, yeah, we're three months out. Do you know they're going to throw everything they can at the Democratic Party and Joe Biden to make us look like fools? And none of that. We have to buy, supersede all of that and get our asses to the poll and vote. Uh, first of all, it's how you raise your children. I personally blame this on personal Thank parents. You. It's the parents' idea, baby. What it, what is important to you and your children, and what is not, because that's what I do as a parent. If it's some BS, I tell my baby that's some foolishness. Get rid of that. Just trash. Don't read that. Don't do that. But if it's something that's relevant and will affect affect them personally, then I'm all over it. That is some is foolishness. That is some hypocrisy created by a group of people who are really trying to smoke screen this election. Everything that's done now, to me, Mark, is conspiracy to get Trump back in office. So we have to be smarter and we have to be faster. And I agree. And this is my thing. Kids are innocent. What happened to the innocence in kids? I remember growing up with toys that had little fucking butt dials and I would touch it or twist it. Am I all of a sudden going to be succumb to pedophilia because my toys as a kid had something on the butt? And this is the other thing. If a, it's made for a girl, okay? It's made for a girl maybe between the ages of four to six. That's all I can imagine playing with a stupid little toy. If your four to six-year-old is on is playing with a doll that is sitting down and it's supposed to be a, a, a toy that sings to you as it sits down, that's why the button was placed on the butt. If your child assumes that that's inappropriate, why is your ch why you need to question why is your child feeling that that's inappropriate and why that even came to their head? Because I'm sorry, but my five-year-old niece if she was playing with that toy and she sat it down and it giggled or sang a song to her, she is not thinking that that's inappropriate. I just don't understand how this, it's like religious folks are now trying to sexualize and now throw Democrats, like, you know me, if something becomes political, I'm going to question it. But now there's this political narrative that Hollywood and Democrats is sexualizing children and it's leading to this pedophilia that we're seeing in the world. It just doesn't make sense. It's BS. And I really can't believe that we are sexualizing toys for kids. And if I want to know the bitch, it's a, it's a white woman, excuse me, I'm on a soapbox. But this woman who started this petition and posted a video to Twitter, why when you see a, a button on a doll that's a fucking fake creature, there's no anatomy. I could see if it had boobs, asshole, a vagina, but it doesn't. And you see a button, why does your mind go there? What is wrong with you? That's what I want to know.
know. Well, now let, let me tell you what's funny to me because you, this is one of your topics about pedophilia and the logic no. of. And so, secondly, if the kid, first of all, kids don't go by their own toys. Parents buy their toys. So the parents been buying these damn dolls for their children, and then you're going to complain about it. If you don't want your kid to have something, guess what you don't do? You don't fucking buy it. Just like I tell right. trolls on my page, when you don't like me or you got something negative to say, I don't come to your shit. So don't come to mine because I'm going to block you, period. So this is it. The, the choice, again, Mark, is on the parents. They can have all, and, and when you're saying about religions and, and Catholics and and how the, the, the people with all these religious views, religion contains slavery for so many years. They use religion to encapsulate slaves and told them that the Bible said to honor thy master, do what thy master said, just give up your whole life, love God, but do everything that your master said. I don't trust that shit. You got to know who you are and do what the what feels right and best for you. That's as a person, whatever nationality you are and what color. Ain't nobody listen to these crazy Karens on social media. All them Karens, male and female, is good and displaced. They are special souls, woo, like Baron Trump. And they just looking for some attention. I have no attention for them. Zero. And I have yeah, zero I, tolerance for bullshit. I agree with the whole buying the, like, you don't buy it if you don't feel that it's for your kid. But I think the thing that's so frustrating is that they're trying to, like, they're, I don't, I don't know. I just don't get it. And as a parent, would you view a button on a toy that, again, I could see if it was a doll that had a chest that had an asshole and it, for some reason you touch the vagina and it starts making noises like that would be a little strange but like i a, a troll doll like there's no anatomy the thing doesn't even have a chest the thing doesn't have separation it's just so when you sit it down it uh, to you so your child let me tell you what's so what's butt. so twisted about this we made this an issue not you and me when we kept having all these identity and sexuality and how you feel like what you internalize your sexual, we created these monsters. We understand that society has created all of this with, oh, I identify as this and you have to call me this pronoun. We have created all of these different narratives so we can't get upset about a fucking doll because now they want it to be a boy. A male doll has to be, oh, it's cisgendered or it's a cisgendered male. We did this shit. Understand that we did this. Baby, what about it's a doll? It's a toy, and kids yeah. play with toys. That's it. All yeah. this new shit that they're doing, we had a hand in that. I hate to say that, but we were so big on, oh, little Billy identifies as little Joanne, so I let little Billy dress up and go to school as little Joanne, and woo-woo-woo, and then you want to have a protest, and we have, want to have all these talk shows about it. We had a hand in this, and, and as ridiculous as that sounds, we had a hand in this. I believe that. And before I go, I see comments that why are we giving it energy? The reason, and I, and let me explain this for a second. Um, the reason I'm giving it energy is because under, I know how you feel about pedophilia and a pederast. I've talked about this. I know how I feel about it. So my thing is, is if you take situations, well, this is my frustration. If you take something as small as a uh, mythological creature and you're turning it into now it's pedophilia, it takes away from it's like almost normalizing pedophilia to an extent because now if a toy, if that's encouraging pedophilia, we're now not paying attention to like what's really going on with adults who are attracted to children. So like that's why it is important and it's even more important because it's now being politicized. This is going to be talked about on Fox News, I guarantee you. It's going to be talked about from, I've already seen politicians, uh, sen senators resharing this video and talking about it. And it is important because it's going to distract if people, because there are people on, you know, who are Democrats who think also, oh yeah, this is just, this is weird. And this is pedophile, you know, pedophilia, this is gross. It's going to distract people if this narrative continues and people buy in that Hollywood and Democrats are forcing this on our kids. But that's all I have to say. It was just annoying. And I know I see TT making a few comments and she said she read it. I'd be interested to see what she has to say, but I don't know, as a parent, I feel like a toy can never be sexualized unless it's obvious, you know. Well, when I tell you, when I tell you, I cannot wait to sit down with you, TT, First Lady, Cassie, all together in a in like even if it's over one of those groups, because I love that you and TT always go at each other. Y'all love each other dearly, but y'all, I love the strong differences of opinion. But Mark, I I hear you. 
And uh, it's all a distraction. We have to stay focused on the target. We have to be like a horse in the race with our blinders on where all we see is November the 3rd. That's all we see is November the 3rd. But, you know, everything I just said, they're going to throw everything at us to yeah. deflect and to distract us. Our minds need to be, Mark, look what I got for you. I, I look, ooh, distract, <laughs> uh, distract, distract me. <laughs> I'm trying to distract you. Let me let me change your man. Let me change your man. Please, please, please. <laughs> My God, no, I, it's just it's it's annoying. But I encourage y'all to look it up because it is going to be talked about. And just don't buy into the bullshit. And it's well. It's first horrible. of all, don't watch Fox News. Let's start there. No, who watches Fox News? Oh, I, I watch I watch Fox and CBS because I like I like I need to understand every side. I need to understand why they feel the way. It helps me become a better not only political strategists, but it helps me understand and talk about the opposite side, um, their arguments, why they think the way they do. And also gives me insight to how people in the middle of the country feel. That's why I watch it. Well, you, did they did they tear your roof up yesterday, Mark? <sighs> They're out here now. They There was four huge holes. So one big tree just came swinging and busted the side of the screen. They fixed it already. The screen guy's gone. They're wrapping up now, but I'm stressed. I'm looking at it right this second. It'll be good once it's done. I'm glad it's happening, but I was stressed about that too yesterday. So then the stupid doll on top of it just has my mind going crazy. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you one of those dolls as a gift. You better not be on there rubbing on his booty either. <laughs> I'm done. All right. I love, I love everybody. you, Mark. Bye, my baby. I love you. That's my baby's Bye. daddy, y'all. That is, that is my baby's daddy, y'all. You get energy entertaining this BS. Clovis, Clovis, look at you. You ready to come through the phone? Clovis, let me let me talk. Let me talk to Kwanda's baby's daddy. Let me talk to Kwanda's baby daddy. That ain't nobody. That's just her baby daddy. Clovis. They're going to throw everything at the Democratic Party. They're going to make Joe Biden try to look like a fool. They're going to try to kill us. But guess what we have to do? Stay focused on the target, y'all. What's up, Big P? Open, open it. Turn something down. Get out that light. I can't see your face, Clovis. Sit up. What do you think? This, nigga, this ain't no gangster lane. <laughs> down in the How you doing? It's on rooftop. Dig in the scene with a gangster lane. Hey, you don't know nothing about that. You don't know about that. <laughs> How you doing, man? How you doing? How are you? Good morning. Good morning, um, James. Let's see James speaking. Hey, Clovis, what you think? What is it? I think that, that to me, there's just too much, you know, too much going on, you know, in the world now that us to be worried about. And I was just telling Q, I was like, you know, if I hear one more, um, you know, Mickey, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B um, uh, disagreement when so much more important is going on, I'm going to lose it. There's a lot more important things we need to go on that, that needs to happen that we need to be worried about. You know, uh, not just with the elections, but, we, you know, with people dying and uh, things that we need to do as black people to make our lives better. Yeah, it, it's it's scary. It is scary, but we have to stay focused on November the 3rd. I'm telling you all, the every don't be surprised at nothing that will come up within the next three months. It's going to be some outlandish, outrageous oh, stuff man. Up, trying to get our yeah, man. Uh, we have to understand that what we are living in will be worse if he gets another four years. We'll be so much worse. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it's going to be it's going to be horrible. But you know, like, you know, um, we we really need, like you said, for it to be uh, just um, you know so above normal because uh, cheating is it's, 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 it's coming. You know oh, they doing saying? that already. already that, that's part of the, all <laughs> of these stories that they come up with. That's all part of the cheating pro. It's all a conspiracy. But we have to come out like monsters and stand in the lines and help other people get to the polls and just make sure that all that stuff is right. Because I'm telling you, they on a mission. They on a mission to keep him in office for four more years. Well, you know, it's basically the same thing that we've always know, known our whole life is the fact that we can't be just something, um, um, you know, when we're black. We got to excel in order to be noticed uh, in order to go. We got to always go above and beyond. And that ain't never been nothing we've had to do to be noticed and to be considered as somebody, especially the way the world is. I know it's changed a lot. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of old people that are still teaching hate that ain't dead yet. 
And, you know, and, you know, I'm proud of the kids and the way they're coming together today. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a step forward. But, you know, we really need to do more for each other. You know what I mean? And and look out for each other. Because, uh, you know, basically, we, you know, this is, this is all we got is each other. You know what I mean? And um, <laughs> we got to keep it together. And, and you know, Biden is our last resort, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Listen, when we had 22 candidates, y'all didn't speak up. This is what we got. We got to roll with this nigga. We got to roll with this nigga. Yeah. yeah. And I yeah, say nigga with love. Uh, you know, y'all get all of y'all feelings. It's... I say nigga with love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, it can't be no. <laughs> I can even imagine it being, you know, worse than what it is now, and uh, that's the reason why he got to go. You know, yeah. he, he's, he, he has to go. You taking care of my girl over there? I am. Actually, I was just rubbing her back just a minute ago, oh, and I'm going to go in the kitchen and pick me something to eat. Oh, you a good man. Do your job, player. All that. Do your job. That's part <laughs> of your job. That's your job, nigga. That's your job. No, all right. <laughs> oh, I know it. That's my baby. Well, I Always. Thank you so much. I thank you for chiming in, Kobe. Kobe, you know, I, re I respect that I have such a new fan base of straight men like yourself because for such a long time in my career, straight men were terrified to laugh with me or at the jokes that I said because they were like, ooh, somebody looking at me. If I'm laughing at that, I mean, that means I must be attracted to that. I love that you are sure of who you are, so it allows you to just be who you are because that means you let me be who I am and you just enjoy it. That is 100. Uh, and, that, and that's the thing, you know. I mean, if you're confident in who you are, you know who you are, just like you know who you are. So, you know, um, you know, funny is funny, you know, and um, you, you have an amazing personality and you do so much for my girl, and I appreciate it so much. Well, thank you. I ain't doing for what you're doing for, but as long as you got that part covered. <laughs> <laughs> Bad flame, bad flame. Thank you, Kobe. Bye, Kwanda. Have a great day, you guys. <laughs> oh, Purple Butterfly, I saw what you said. Oh, I am so sorry about your um your cousin. I love that she was a fan of mine. I'm so sorry that she passed on. Wow. Child, tomorrow is not promised. We got to live each day, each day, each day, each day. To keep it pushing and moving. TT, we couldn't get you yesterday. I hope Uncle Charlie ain't got you on lockdown today. We don't need you on lockdown today. I am not. The wife I was I was trying to look like you today. I just put some lipstick on. <laughs> and, we do, and we do mash. Look, I got the girls out a little bit today too. So we are twins. Mine not as fluffy as yours, but child, they are. <laughs> oh, they they put stuff. If I take this bra off, they both go to their neutral corners, like the boxes. <laughs> it's a thing. They go their own way. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got you got new you got new boobs. Your what's cost twenty thousand dollars, and that ain't what's going on. Look, right. thank you, thank you, Doctor the bro, because I ain't paid for shit. Well, that's okay. T -T, okay. I, I, you read the story about the Dow, because that was my first time hearing about it when Mark brought it up. No, I, I read about it earlier this morning, and I just didn't give a lot of credit to it because Bible thumpers, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way to people who try to align themselves with the word, but then there are some who use it as a weapon just to come up with topics. And that's what right. we're talking about. We're talking about uh, Bible thumpers. So if if I'm not going to let it unravel me because given the opportunity, it's not just the dial that they would find fault in in my life. And I'm happy with who I am. So I, I wouldn't normally have commentary with these folks anyway. You know, you can pick up people's different, you know, spirits when you're in a meeting with them. And sometimes people don't have the gumption to hide behind the word. They're just simply strongly opinionated religious folks tend to scare me anyway because they use it as a weapon yeah and religion has crippled a lot of black folks from just being smart because they are run and say i'm gonna pray about it you know your prayer is your plan of action it, you have to apply action to it
to your plan. You can yeah. pray all day. If you're not putting no push to those words, it's just going to be the prayer. My my pastor, Reverend Clancy Storage Jr. says that all the time. Prayer yes. without without work is just dead. It's just it's, dead. It's like talking to a wall. Exactly. So, you know, no, it didn't terribly uh, upset me because there there's a lot of idle time uh, spent by folks who are trying to distract us. Um, so they can talk about the baby dolls all they want. They can talk about abortion. They can talk about who bumping who. And it really doesn't bother me because they are a dying breed. They're just a bunch of vanilla, you know, or paint drying people who just want to impose their opinions on everybody else. They're not living by it, but they want to impose that on everybody else because I've had the opportunity of having friends in different faiths, and it's it's almost laughable what they excuse in their community. But when it gets to us, then they want to deem us to hell. You, you know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, the talking point, um, uh, Trump has employed all these black people. Well, you know what? You couldn't have found more people working than slavery. And we still didn't have shit. It's not about working. It's about people working for wages where they can obtain and maintain the necessities and some luxuries. So it's mm -hmm. like, don't be sidetracked. Know what you know. And it, it, like they're trying to push their opinion down our throat. I could give a damn. I, I could really give a damn. Uh, black girls are rolling with it, and I'm in the movement. So, you know, you don't want the baby doll, don't buy the baby doll. You don't want the abortion, don't have, don't have the abortion. I could give a damn. You know, I just can't be distracted with a bunch of BS. So, yeah. And, and in the next three months, understand that some of the stories that you are all about to hear about Biden, yeah. And whomever yeah. he picks for the VP and the whole Democratic Party is going to blow your mind. Understand that they're going to come with yeah. everything that they have. Your mind ain't focused on that. We are focused on November right. the 3rd, getting to that right. poll and making such a, a, a position change because it's time for a new driver on the bus. If we are all yeah. on this bus, it's time for a new driver. And it's time for a driver that cares about the way okay. that he's driving us. Because okay. the driver on you, if you send your kids to school on a school bus driver, you can get a drunk bus driver. You can get an idiot bus driver that does not care about your children. We need a bus driver that cares about us. The bus driver that we have picked, that we have chosen is Biden. That nigga is driving my bus because I'm going to make sure. Right. You know, quit all that shit. Well, I don't like Biden. You know, you didn't nobody ask you to invite this man to have dinner with your family. But you That's right. align yourself with somebody whom is going to reflect the things that are priorities in your life. You're not just voting for yourself. You're voting for right. your family. You're voting that's for right. your brother. So you better align yourself with something that's going to bring some type of good in your life. Because right now, you shouldn't even say Trump and Biden in the same sentence. And it's okay if Woo! you're straddling the fist. But that's say no it again, either. 19. Say you it know, one more time, 19. Right. You know, Woo! that's no good either. You know, so be an adult about this. You know, you don't like. What the hell do that mean? Work every day. I know it's the motherfuckers you're working with that you don't like. Ain't nobody giving a damn about what you don't like. You better do something that's going to bring some type of peace to your home right now. Because right now, people are looking at people and, and wanting, wanting to actually fight them. And everything is based on color. We know prejudice it has existed and the fight with religion. But this man has hyped us up so much that that's the focal point about everything. You know, forget yeah. all that life. Forget about what Carmela were and you don't like what she were. She don't like what your ass were either. I'm talking about voting. You know, that simple as that. You know, simple as that. You know, so that that's my that's my spiel. Um, black girls rocked in St. Louis. And so I'm I'm still Y'all want y'all y'all snatched it, right? Woo-hoo! Hoo hoo. And in my capacity, I'm not supposed to be politically entangled, but child, I was out there doing some dirty work behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Come on, Tiff. Let me tell you something. 
we all, you know, even when we don't want to get involved, when it means something to us, when it oh, touches yeah. us, we know it's we. What's important to you, you make important to you. Oh yeah. What oh, is yeah. important to you, you make important to you. I promise. And I you. love I that you was out I there. Was you was, was you waving the flag? Did you have your sign, TT? No, but that voice on the phone saying, "Would you support Kim Gardner?" was possibly my voice. So oh. I get mine in. <laughs> I get mine in. I'm going to work. I'm going to push always because it's about Kim Gordon, right? You're right. You know, I'm going to push uh, because the fraternal order here with the police department, the little man is so racist. So he saw that St. Louis is not playing about these racist police officers who are bringing cases, wanting her to prosecute them, that she said, it ain't going to happen because you got complaints against you about being racist. She said it, she meant it, and I meant it too. Leave your hands off these black boys. So, you know, that's my spiel. I love everybody. Good luck. Um, and I know you on your way up. Don't remember us down here, us little old peons. Um, Girl, y'all come across the street with me. What is you talking about? But I'm you, only but, going across the street. Y'all yeah, come but no, me. no, I'm going across the street. But your other deal, baby, you got some things coming oh. up for you. It's your time. Fingers Don't is you, crossed. You, you know, sometimes things be working so in line. I be like, damn, I got to buy me a lottery ticket. Because when they line up, shit just be falling. It's your time, baby. It's your time. Thank you, TT. Ooh, I received that, TT. It's, I it's take your it. Time. I'm going to rub it on my ass and make it come fast, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 She yes. is a bad, bad <laughs> TT. Bad <laughs> TT. I love all of you guys. I love everybody. Yes, honey. Thank oh. you, T.T. Y'all y'all make sure y'all follow T.T. T.T. brings, let me tell you something. When I tell y'all you need to listen to your elders or listen to people who oh. have experienced, oh, this yeah. is what you learn. That's why they want these kids back in school because these kids are learning way much more at home from way, the grandma and the aunties and the granddaddies yeah. than they're going to learn in that colonized school system. That's, oh, yeah. This is all, it's real shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love you guys. Love you, too. Have all a great right. day, love. Bye. Baby, let me tell y'all something about that Bible. That Bible has been rewritten, rewritten, redone, reovered, redoed, and all that 12,000 times. The scriptures in the Bible changes, 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 changes. My, my relationship that I have with God is my relationship that I have with God. Me and Jay-Z, me and JC, not Jay-Z, me and JC have our own conversations. I call them out. I pr I'll call him out when he said he was uh, the scriptures say he was going to stand on his promise. I make him stand on his promise with me. I said, didn't you tell me that if I was humble, if I did what I was supposed to do, that you would cover me and covet me and keep me and my children safe? Baby, when I take that time, I have my own way of doing it, but I have my own relationship with the Lord. So this is where we at. I know a lot of us go by the Bible. I'm going to live by the Bible. The Bible has changed 10,000 times in so many years. Understand that if you talk to God with your own colloquial relationship, baby, he hear you. He hears you. He hears you. You only, as uh, uh, much as we love a preacher to preach for us and woo, 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 nothing is better than your own personal spiritual connection with God that you have, whatever God you pray to, because it's a whole lot of different religions. It's a whole lot of different religions. But guess what? Your God is your God. Period. There's my sister. I haven't talked to my sister. Hey, B, I'm slaying you for Tony Braxton today. Who do you think I am? Don't you know that he was my man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, B, what's that girl? There you go with that Blue Lake Internet. Amelia, we can't see your beautiful face. Can you hear me? I hear you perfectly, but seeing you, is, you're a little dark skin today, dear. You're a little dark. Mm -hmm. Shut up. I'm in the <laughs> Working from you home. You what? I'm in the kitchen. I mean, I'm in the dining room working from home. I'm on my laptop. Oh, yo! Can you go out? Can you turn your Wi-Fi on? Uh, let's see. Am I giving you "Unbreak My Heart"? You want me to go out and come back in? Yeah, go out and come back in, AB. Turn your Wi-Fi on. Undo this hurt you cause when you walked out the door and walked out. Miss Pam, 
I talk. I talk like it's my bestie. That's understand. I'm telling you, and whatever relationship, however you talk to your friends, because that's what God wanted to meet you at. God don't want you to come in with all this. Oh, Lord, Master and Savior. He know you, you as long as you respect Him as your Master and Savior, uh, as your uh, as your uh, Savior. That's fine. But you just talk to Him regular. Talk to God normal. Okay, Amelia, we ain't going to be able to see you today, but we can hear you. What's T? What's T? We're talking about the distractions and deflections. I would say I want to talk about that we're being distracted from Kanye West, but ain't nobody taking that nigga serious. Not for real. I wanted to say um, to Mark, but um, just the fact that um, so those people who created that that agenda with the whole doll situation, if they were to hear what Mark was saying, that would bring a big smile to their face. And the very fact that he is responding, that's what they want to, that's what they want to happen. They want to set people off and to, 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 they want to change the narrative. So, oh, hey, wait. Um, so just, just tell them, you know, keep your, keep, we got to keep our eye on the prize. It's very important that we don't get distracted. Those yeah. people are creating those agendas just so that we can get those types of reactions that we got from Mark. I, I had never heard that story until Mark brought it up. First of all, I don't like troll dolls. I don't like troll dolls and I don't like zombies. Hey, y'all. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's just um, you know, just like you said, there's gonna be a lot of distractions coming. Oh my god! Oh my god! Over the next couple of months, there's going to be a lot, and as soon as they're gonna get to work, they're gonna get to serious work as soon as he announces his his running. His vice president. Yeah, that's when they're gonna start digging deep and throwing out everything. But I'm telling y'all, I don't care what you hear. I don't care how outlandish it sounds. Understand that the situation that we are in right now, where our lives being, we had 160,000 deaths right now in the United States, 4,902 4, cases in the United States. Baby, that is the only thing that you should think about. Removing Trump is like removing the virus, period. And also, we also shouldn't uh, forget that we still have other people in Russia and possibly in China, who are still who are also going to try and affect the election as well. So we still have to be diligent, especially on social media, with a lot of people um, in the Chinese government, because Trump upset you know a lot of people in the Chinese government by constantly yeah. calling it the Chinese virus and you know working on um, or screwing up the trade agreements you know that we have with China, that sort of stuff. And those people are also going to be working as well as Russia with um to try and um disarm the election girl let me tell you something ab i just hope that all of the people within the 298 people within my listening voice or our listening voices are mm -hmm. registered to the vote and tell everybody that they know to vote because all of that they're doing on the news with oh donald trump is he's losing in the polls he's losing don't fall for that. That is the scam, y'all. Ooh, that's the biggest scam. It is. And you see, now you see all the new stuff that's coming out. Thank you, Cassie. Because y'all, they truly not tipping me. Because don't worry, when this hour's up, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> um, all the stuff they're coming out with now about um, the, the distractions with Donald Trump and the voting and this and the this and that. Y'all have to vote. Y'all have to vote, 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 vote. It's coming up with so many scams. And now he's saying that uh they, he's into a Russia and he's he's going to make up every outlandish lie he can. We cannot. It is not on the Republicans now. It is on the Democrats. It's on us. Yeah. Yep. And we have got to band together. And remember, to you have to remove yourself and your feelings from from everything that you may think about the candidate that we have that's why it's important to concentrate on blue you have to remove all of that stuff i don't like the way that this person said such and such or i don't like the way she dresses or i didn't like what she said 10 years ago we have got to concentrate on blue 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 it does it, it has to be tunnel vision yeah. Blue. That's what I said about yesterday. I mean, I said that same thing about 
as uh, as much as we thought that George Bush was horrible as a president to black folks, black folks, we are so forgiving. That, that nigga spoke on uh, John Lewis's uh, pla uh, uh, service last week. Very, very nicely. Wonderful speech. We forgot all the bad shit he did. If we can forgive him for the shit he did, we can forgive Kamala if he picks Kamala for the shit that she did. Because we are, we have a target that we have to, a goal that we have to reach by any means necessary. If you want to hear somebody say that with some conviction, go and watch Malcolm X. By any means necessary. Because that's how they're going to try to win. By any means necessary. Right. <clears throat> And and pink butterfly, I I see what you're saying that uh, God doesn't change religion. Religion changes God. Does, that's not what I said. Please listen to hear what I said, not to hear what you want to hear. I said that the Bible has changed over the years. Whatever your relationship with God is, is your relationship with God. I never said that God changes. I said that the Bible has changed. It was it was rewritten ten million times. Yeah, my Bible is right here in my heart. Right. You know right from wrong. You know what's good and what's bad. You know that. It don't matter about what the, you know right from wrong. What's the T.A.B.? You haven't called me in a couple of days. You acting? I haven't heard from you. You got a new boyfriend or someone? Please, I wish. Um, how did the well, audition Mark, Mark is um, not interested in me. He he always act like the audition went good. I'm waiting to hear back. You know how Hollywood is hurry up and wait. I probably won't hear anything until the middle of next week, but I'm excited about it. We'll see. Good. I'm praying on it. Thank you, AB. Everybody else got their stuff. Look, Mark Vesper and uh, Nicholas came back negative on their COVID test. Pastor Erskine got the job. Mark had a great meeting. Uh, T.T. Wade Williams, they won down there in St. Louis. So, girl, look, all is good on my page. I need some of it to, look, to spread on these new bags. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and I got a raise. Well, look at God. See, Jesus, you passing them out, play. I'm just saying, JC, why you, why you not too busy? I'll let your boy. I'll let your boy. I'll let your boy. <laughs> All right, AB. I'm going to call you later. Bye, Amelia. Thank you. Okay. Vote, y'all. Vote, 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 vote. God. You have to keep saying that. And I hate that we have to drill that in people's heads all day, every day, nonstop, a million times. But in order for it to work, y'all, you know what? Sometimes we're going to have to keep saying it. Please make sure that your ducks are lined up in a row right now. We can't wait until November the 1st. It's like, oh, I got to go get my ID. I got to do this. No, you got to do it now. Your church is in your heart. Church, your religion, who, how you feel about God is in your heart and mind. I'm about to get a job. Yeah, I'll take you about to get a job. You about to get showing the fun bags. Child, I, I had some work to do this morning. Blake Katrina, you received the baby. I, she received a, a, a raise as well. But I'll tell you, the blessings is all over uh, the Coffee Time page. The blessings are all over the Coffee Time page. Let me go. Let me go to the PCN. I mean the PNW. Let me go to the PNW. Let me go to the PN. <laughs> God, you got on your hat. I wanted to put on my hat too. <laughs> Good morning, Cassie. Good morning. Good morning. Looking good. I love it. Thank you, I my dear. I'm hot. Wait. <laughs> this something, y'all, before y'all start asking, I still ain't got I still ain't got my pants. I paid them $596 and I still don't have my pants. Right there, Flame. Right there. Hey. Girl, I'm hey. hot. I need the thing. <laughs> Let me fan the girls. The I'm girls so get happy sweaty. For you. And I missed the live yesterday because I had an all day meeting, but I went back and I. You know, I got to get caught up and see what's going on with everybody. Congratulations to Reverend Erskine, to Mark, to Vesper and his partner. Man, God is awesome. He's working things out. Cassie, did you see the whole Dow thing? I didn't see that. No, I didn't see it. And I just think I, we shouldn't give it no energy. I just feel like I as agree. a parent, it's, it's your decision on what you want to buy for your kids. It's your decision on how you raise and train up your children. So, I mean, I just feel like it's a distraction. We got bigger things, bigger fish to fry. We, we I, do. 
you know and i think that when you give stuff that much energy it looked like mark's blood pressure was raising i don't know if he got high blood pressure but that thing was giving him problems <laughs> so, i think i think mark's i think mark's still mad that they tore up his screen from yesterday he had held a little bit of that oh he needed to take that frustration out on somebody he should have let bay he should have taken that frustration out on bay <laughs> you are mad not, but in all seriousness, though, please, everybody, you have got to vote. Our primaries was on Tuesday this week, and they still counting all the votes, but it's so important that we let our voice be heard. And yes, we do got to take care of one another. We are our brothers and sisters keepers. Anything you can do to help the next person, we got to help one another because we can't get through this on our own. This is, it's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, Cassie. The and the more I look at the news and the more I hear the foolishness, I'm just preparing myself. I I feel like I'm putting on armor because mm -hmm. I know we're about to go into battle. Mm -hmm. Because this is what it's becoming down to. Not only do I think that uh, it's going to become a a, a religious a, a, because there are religious fanatics out here that believe that Trump is like the Messiah for them. Mm -hmm. They believe that. In, in, a, in, a, in some outrageous fashion. But us as Democrats and we as American people, that, 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 that this is important to us and we have to understand that they're going to come up with the most outrageous stories that mm -hmm. Biden is trying to kill us or whoever he picks for vice president is going to be disheartening to woo, woo, woo. We have to put in our heads and, and put around our heads that we only see November the 3rd for us. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. It doesn't matter I mean, who he picks. It, don't it doesn't. It really you doesn't. At this point, matter. it doesn't. It don't, it, it, at this point, it doesn't matter. Somebody's going to be unhappy. You can't please everybody. So we just have to vote. We have to vote. We need to get the monster out of office. And then you also got to make sure you're paying, paying attention to who's running for governor, mayor, whatever in your city so you can get the right people in positions. Because we don't have a lot of the right people in positions. We really don't. And yeah, you got to put on your armor. You got to stay ready. I'm going yeah. to rain tomorrow. I got to be very comfortable with my hand jewelry because if you run up on me, Lord Jesus, I need to live to see tomorrow. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and and the way the 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 way he's fueling the fire and and, and put and adding more fuel to the coal to burn this flame even higher, it might become a um, a race war if win or lose because when he when and if he loses, they're going to be upset. Uh, when and if he wins, they're going to feel even more bold. I'm telling you, if y'all think we got some crazy Karens now, put that nigga back in the office four more years. They're going to be really outrageous to where you have to walk around all day with your hand jewelry, probably open. You can't even put it in your purse. It's going to be and you have to be in your hand. This is where we're headed. This is what he wants it to is divide this country. It's crazy, and I don't know. I don't care who you believe in. We got to come in agreement, and we got to pray for our country because it's crazy. It's crazy what's happening, and it's just got to be on guard all the time and watch your back because yeah. you don't know who who's for you or who's against you. I would rather know that you don't like me than uh, underneath, oh, I don't like you, and you're doing some stuff behind my back. Let me know up front. That was the thing about uh, Trump. He's an upfront person. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He keep it in the front of you so people just know he is who he is, and we may not like him, and we got to get him up out of there because he's terrible for the country. There's so much division, so we got to pray, come together, encourage one another. We have to encourage one another, you know? Yeah. Scary, scary, scary. It's scary, 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 can, scary. It's very scary, but we can't stop living, and we got to continue to push forward and just know that um, the best is yet to come. You know, you, you were talking about a Bible thumper earlier. And when I had first joined my ministry, I was one 100% like one way. And it wasn't until a couple of years ago that I finally became more understanding. And like my kids were like, now I can talk to mom. I was like all about the Bible and just everything's the word. I understand the word, but not like just throwing it in your face. And it's either this way or that way. No, it's however you want to do what you want to do. And God will forgive you when you go to God and you ask him for forgiveness. So mm -hmm. I understand Bible thumpers. I understand all the way religious people, you know, growing up in a Baptist church or whatever. I understand completely. But at the end of the day, it's about your relationship with God and who he is to you, whatever God you may serve. Whether That's exactly what it is. Who is God to you? Who yes. is God to you? 
Because we all look, we all look for answers from somewhere, and we look for different answers. And yep, who is God to you? And I love how you say you talk to him just like you talk to us. Because I talk to him too. I'm like, uh, bruh, uh, what's going on? You know, right? And I right. want to I want to leave this scripture with you guys because it's my favorite scripture. It's Romans eight twenty eight. It says, "All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord, who have been called according to His purpose." So it will work out. You just got to stay focused, focus on the positivity, whatever negativity, don't focus on that because we're, we're wasting our energy on stupid stuff. So I appreciate you, Flame. I love you so I, much. I love you, Cassie. And I'm this, so excited for you. And I can't wait to go across the street with you too. <laughs> we on our way across the street, girl. Look, we trying to get to a club downtown. <laughs> to be on a call with everybody y'all is amazing no matter if we, oh, do, yeah. we disagree or agree we can still come together as a family and keep pushing one another in the right direction so yeah and and my and you know my i, I pride myself on my page being a, a bunch of intelligent conversationalists because that's what we are we are conversationalists nope the conversations don't always have to go my way or your way or the other person's way but we're respectful enough to each other to at least allow each other to speak and listen to each other speak and say you know what i don't see it that way but i hear you i hear you that's all that's it yes ma'am <laughs> That's man you. right now, but it'll be yes. third tonight on Love Lounge because yes, I'm coming but out this to, week. You know, I have to go with the flow right here. Go with the flow. You know, you said. And you know, know, on this page, this is Pishi Week. So guess <laughs> what? <laughs> it's all welcome here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Kathy. Thank you, my darling. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. That's Pacific Northwest, baby. That's my correspondent in the PNW, baby. That's my. Uh oh. Uh oh. Big pimping, big pimp. I'm doing big pimping. You ain't got that EBT internet today, do you, Meach? Don't don't give me that EBT internet. <gasps> you got the EBT. Uh, that uh, oh, bitch! I am in, girl. <laughs> Hot day. What's up, bitch? What's happening, my love, my sister, the Emmy nominated Flame Monroe, my <laughs> sister? Yeah, so I love you. I have you. not spoken with you since before your interview with Sinbad. How first tell yeah. us how was that, and then let's talk about this BS that they're about to throw at us with this whole Republican BS. Darling, the interview with Sinbad was absolutely fantastic, and it gave us a chance to reconnect because I had not realized that it had been ten years since he was last on the show. When I went in my archives, I wanted to go over our last interview, so I wouldn't re-ask the same questions and have the same type of interview. I, been, I was like, damn, it's been 10 years already. Where the hell did that time go? Because he and I have been in communication with each other all through Twitter and, and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So I had not realized that much time had gone by. But uh, I told you, I, I, I had mentioned you and, and wanted to make sure that he knew who, who you were. And this guy now that he adores you, he said. Oh, you know, he, he thought you were very funny. You know, he thought you were funny and carried on. And I also told him, I said, listen, I'm going to tell you what to do now. I said, now you can take it for what it's worth. I said, you need to put a show to where it says two comedians and a singer. And that's you and Flying and Stephanie Mills as the, as the vocalist. He said, oh, shit, wait a minute. I'm with that because that little Stephanie is a singing ass. My sister. Okay, that there is my sister. Patty, my mama, but that's my sister. Okay. <laughs> Big Meech, what are we gonna do about this election? What we got going on down there? What y'all got going? I see that. Uh, I see that Kemp Kemp dropped his lawsuit against uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms, which was utterly ridiculous. He had any no choice because it, it shouldn't have been there in the first place. Because what they ended up doing was what he should have done. They went, they got behind closed doors, and they they they, they, they you know they just had a, 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 a come to Jesus meeting. And had to hash that out. There was no need to put the to put the Georgia taxpayers through all that through all that calamity and that madness simply because you're you're flossing and you trying to prove a point. See, a lot of his strong armor that he had done. She wasn't the only mayor who was in conflict with him. The mayor of Athens, the mayor of Savannah, the mayor of 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 uh, Macon is a, a number of mayors here that were having issues with him. He decided to make Keisha the, the 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 scapegoat to a lot of his bullshit because she was the one who was more vocal at calling him out 
as he had gone public on on the news stations and came out said what he, he he fucked up. You know that's how you know so he's not in touch that. with black people because anybody who know any black person named black woman named Keisha, all Keishas plays no game. Hello? Any bitch named None. Keisha ain't gonna play with you. Period. <laughs> None. None. You understand? That's that? why I never met a white girl I, named Keisha. I only know black Keisha. How about that. <laughs> I want to stress this as far as the election is concerned because something came across my desk last night when we were doing the, the TV live stream. And that there is, they, uh, folks are saying, if you, if you haven't been paying attention, there's a lot of quietness that's going on with a lot of the white supremacists. They're kind of hush. You know, they're not as vocal and loud as they once were in the last few weeks. But it is suggested or it is told that they are plotting to go in and on election day is when there's, they want to reign their brand of terror. Now, I, that could be folklore. It could be, you know, just, just inciting the, the masses. However, I don't put it, I don't put it past anything of, of any of that uh, salaciousness or that kind of behavior because we... Uh, the NFAC, the No Fucks, uh, uh, Not Fucking Around Committee, is a black militia. Now, you may have seen them. They, they were going through and they went through walking here in Atlanta. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, uh, in Stone Mountain. The, the all black, you know, with the guns and all that. And most of them are military personnel. They did that that day because we had had uh, a battle call that said that the KKK was going to rise up and they was gonna start shooting blacks at eight o'clock, and so they said, "Well, at eight o five, we shooting whites." Okay, and that's what that whole march was about. And so a lot of folks were like, "Oh my God, what is this? What is this?" And so now we have the truth. I, I love when you say, "I feel like I'm I'm a warrior or I'm going to war," because I feel the exact mm -hmm. same way. I'm sitting up here looking to take karate classes and carrying on because in my mind. I feel I have to get prepared. And I, mean, yeah. I feel like I'm a little late. But we have to get prepared. And part of the preparation, people, I need, need, need for you guys to understand this. I know we are focused on this vote, but within the next 55 days, no, 54 days now, the census, that you, you see he done cut the, the countdown to, to do the census. It's supposed to be uh, ending in no, uh, October, but he done cut it back to um, uh, September, the end of September. He took 30 days away for this count. Black folks, you have to be counted for the census. Why? For all of you who complain about your roads, your communities, if you get cut in your food stamps and all of that, you have to get counted because if you don't get counted, you, they're not going to count again for another 10 years. Each particular individual gets $2,000 per year uh, per person. So that's $20,000 over the next 10 years. So do that. That's why everybody in your county, in your committee, in your everything has to be counted because that money goes directly to your neighborhood and to your city so that they can make sure they get uh, I got these eggs. Um, they can get the, the stuff that they need. This is how they take traffic studies to find out what businesses to come to your area. This is the, the information that they use to find out how to get to schools and how to do... Uh, I'm sorry, I got something. Okay. Um, this is how the, the, the city and the state find out what gets into your communities. We as black folks, we have always been complaining that we don't have a lot of resources in our community. That's because we have always been undercounted. You can't, if you don't do the census now, think of it like this. If I'm about to give you $20,000 and I'm telling you to sign the paperwork, sign the paperwork, I need you to sign it. And you say, okay, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I'll get to it. Then I die. Well, you didn't sign it, so you can't get this money. But now you bitch moaning and complaining two, three, six years down the line. They owe me money. They owe me money. You did not sign it. You got to wait now to 2030. Was, was somebody come and take over my estate and then 
we gonna start over. But you don't get this twenty thousand here. Oh, you're not ooh. gonna get this twenty. I, it's with, that that remind, I have to go do man. I haven't done man yet. It's still sitting on my kitchen table. I got twenty seconds. Yes, but I do have I to have do man because it. I didn't make it important to me. But what I do want to tell you, you have planted a seed in my head because now when I go vote, now I want to go prepare just in case something like that really does happen. Yes. I wasn't taking my, my hand jewelry with me, but you have put me on alert that I might have.